Hey, how's it going? And welcome to Top 5 Central. I bet you're freaking out right now because out of the 200 videos we've done, it's always been the same besides now. I thought it was about time to switch a few things up and try to keep it fresh. Anyways, today we're looking at the top 10 YouTube couples. If you're new here and you want to enter our free giveaway, just make sure you're subscribed to our channel. As well, make sure to comment what your favorite couple on our list is and why. So yesterday we asked for 5,000 likes on the video and literally within 24 hours, you guys absolutely smashed it. So let's see if we can turn the like button gold again by hitting the goal. Let's see if we can try to get 5,000 likes again on this video. With that said, let's get right into it. Number 10, Nate Shot and Jenna Ezrick. So Nate Shot and Jenna have never made an official announcement about their relationship. But viewers on YouTube have been speculating about their relationship for over two years now. It's even gone as far as people making music videos and edits of the two YouTubers moments together. Which in my mind is a little bit creepy, but hey, if that's what you want to make. The rumor started up in July of 2014 when Nate flew over to Los Angeles to meet up with Jenna. They knew about each other through Jenna's sister, which is another YouTuber called I Justine. They've been in a lot of videos together and they do look pretty coupley. But that's not even the nail in the coffin for this relationship speculation. In May, Nate revealed that he was moving to Los Angeles and that it was because of a girl. Well, who else do we know that lives in Los Angeles? Obviously, that's Jenna Ezrick. Since he moved out there, the two have been in tons of videos together and fans have speculated that they have been living together throughout the year. The two don't seem to want to let people know that they're together though. They've never confirmed the relationship and a lot of times they've actually straight up denied it. That hasn't stopped the fans though, who are pretty sure the two are in a relationship. Number 9, Zoella and Alfie. Zoella, also known as Zoe Sugg, and her boyfriend Alfie have been together since 2013, but they had a pretty long history before they cemented the relationship. They were introduced to each other in person in 2012, but it seems like Alfie always had a soft spot for Zoella because he had been commenting on her videos before that. The followers of both YouTubers immediately started shipping Alfie and Zoella with the hope that they would eventually become a couple. Zoella said that their fans were just overanalyzing the pictures and the videos because apparently they weren't into each other in a romantic way. But in August of 2013, the relationship was revealed when in a vlog on another YouTuber's channel, you could see Zoella's laptop with a desktop picture that had her and Alfie looking really into each other. Now since then, they've been open with what they want about the relationship, stating that they do want their privacy. Hello everybody! Today I am joined with Alfie Days, aka my boyfriend. I feel like I start every video like that whenever I'm with you. The video that we are filming today is... The Boyfriend, the boyfriend Tag! So I thought, you know what Wait, guys, so is this all about me? Number 8, Yannette and Doug Sensor Martin. On the 18th of last January, Face Sensor made a video revealing the story about how he started dating the Mexican weather girl Yannette Garcia. He basically shot her a message on Twitter that said follow for DM, and she replied by quoting the tweet with a smiley face, and then followed him back. Doug was over to Mexico quicker than you can believe, and the two started dating each other. He actually even showed up on the news show that she worked at, and you could see through the course of the vlog named The Crazy Experience of My Life that he genuinely fell in love with her through the course of the trip. And it looks like the feeling was mutual. Even though Yannette didn't speak English and Doug didn't speak Spanish, they got on really well. That's probably one of the coolest stories out there, to be honest. No. Number 7, Alex Wasabi and Lauren. Alex Wasabi and Lauren started dating back in October of 2015, but it wasn't properly made official until the 9th of November with a video called Ship Has Sailed Lorex. Apparently, that's their ship name, a combination of Lauren and Alex. Before that point, they called themselves Explorers because they were sort of exploring the relationship together. Since then, they made a lot of videos together, including adventures to other countries, tag videos, and a whole bunch of vlogs. The best thing about this couple? They were actually nominated for the best YouTube couple during the Kiss Choice Awards earlier in the year. So obviously the community sees how good these two are for each other. Number 6, Philip DeFranco. If you know Philip DeFranco, you probably know that he's married to a woman named Lindsay. And not only have they been dating for over 9 years now, they actually have a kid together. DeFranco proposed to Lindsay during the DeFranco Does Arizona Tour in 2013. He actually planted a question to be asked during the Q&A section. That question being, are you ever going to get married? Lindsay seemed pretty taken back by the question and said that she didn't know, but Philip was already down on one knee with a ring in his hand. So yeah, obviously she said yes to the proposal. Baby Trey DeFranco was born in early 2014, and the wedding finally happened in 2015. And that was uploaded to YouTube under the title The DeFranco Wedding, which shows all of the DeFrancos and their family members getting ready for the event right up to the I Do part. And the second part of your question? 
right, so are you going to get married? Oh. That's a, that's a picky situation. I don't know. Number five, Timothy de la Ghetto and Chia. The story behind Timothy and Chia is a pretty interesting one when you tell it from Chia's side. Back in 2009, she visited a local psychic that some of her friends had been to, and one of the things he talked about was finding the man she was eventually gonna marry. The psychic said that she would soon be planning a trip to LA and that she would meet him accidentally through a friend. Now, she had never been to the States before and had no intention to go there in the future, so she just sort of forgot about it, and that was until a few months later. Her friends were planning a trip to LA and Vegas and wanted to know if she wanted to join them. Now, that's basically where she met Timothy through her friend Vanessa. They became Facebook friends and after she broke up with her boyfriend at the time, they started messaging more frequently. A year passed and then they met up again at an event in Toronto and she realized that she liked him. Now, eventually Timothy asked her out with an armful of roses in the baggage claim of the Los Angeles airport in 2011. It's a pretty cool story considering it all started with a psychic. Number four, PewDiePie and Marzia. PewDiePie and Marzia are the definition of a YouTube power couple considering he's the biggest content creator on the channel and she nearly has 7 million subs. It all began in 2011 when she was introduced to PewDiePie's videos by a friend who said that she should watch this idiot playing video games. It turns out that she liked his channel and emailed him to say that she found his videos funny. Now Felix even went as far to make a few unlisted videos on his channel just for Marzia, one of which was even a song that he sung when he was sick. Marzia moved to Sweden to live with Felix in October of 2011. The couple then moved to Italy and after that to Brighton in the UK. So according to the media, Marzia's calm personality balances out PewDiePie's general wackiness. If that's true, it's kind of scary to wonder how insane PewDiePie's videos would be without his girlfriend to keep him controlled. Number 3. Jenna Marbles and Julian When Jenna Marbles broke up with her ex-boyfriend Max, her fans were pretty distraught and angry that he had supposedly cheated on her. They were happy again when a new man started showing up in her videos, Julian Solomita. According to a site called BuzzTube, Jenna actually hired him as a bodyguard to help with a trip to Ireland, and that's where she supposedly fell for him over a beer. Jenna tried to keep the relationship on the down low at first with Julian only rarely appearing in videos. But as time progressed, she started to feature him more and more. Since then, they've appeared in a ton of videos together, have survived a car crash, and now produced the Jenna Julian podcast, which has racked up over 250,000 subscribers on YouTube. Number 2. Casey Neistat and Candace Poole 10 years ago, a filmmaker called Casey Neistat asked a jewelry designer named Candace Poole on a date, and she said no. But Casey was determined. Now, he wouldn't take no for an answer, and he actually managed to convince Candace to reconsider her no and eventually agree to a date. The couple dated on and off for a few years until Casey proposed to her in Amsterdam in 2013. They got married in South Africa on the same year. In his video, A Love Story 8 Years in the Making, Casey explains the story around how he proposed. So if you're currently single, I wouldn't recommend watching because you'll most likely want a significant other when it's finished. What's up? I want to ask your daughter to marry me and I'm looking for your blessing. Number 1. Roman Atwood and Britney Smith Roman Atwood has had a hard time when it comes to relationships. Once upon a time, he was married to a woman named Shanna Riley, and she gave him a son named Noah and a heartbreak when she cheated on him. Nowadays, he's got a new girlfriend, a woman named Britney Smith. Britney became a stepmom to Noah and gave Roman Atwood another son by the name of Kane. Since they got together, they've appeared in just about every one of his vlogs and prank videos together. Although the most notable one was the killing his son prank. He actually managed to convince Britney that he made the three-year-old son explode on a quad bike. So yeah, Britney really is girlfriend of the year for not leaving him after all these pranks on her. And there's our list of the top 10 YouTube couples. 
If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to leave a like down below and subscribe so you stay notified whenever we upload a video. Also, if you have your own top five or top 10 idea, feel free to use your extremely handy form in the description to submit it. With that said, thank you all for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next video.